guys it is danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so guys in this video we're going to be talking about two systems so we have what is now hurricane Enrique that is going to be affecting portions of mexico and then over in the atlantic basin we have our tropical wave in vest 95 l which is still lingering around guys and so is that system there going to be developing into a tropical cyclone and so guys before i go into details okay guys and so first let us kick start things with hurricane enrique so at this time let's look at highlight view of it we're seeing here that enrique is not completely organized but of course it is in favorable conditions and strengthening of the system is anticipated throughout the next day or so guys and so we're expecting that it is going to be a moving parallel to the coast of mexico but regardless some areas might experience some tropical storm-like conditions some very hazardous conditions and so let's go to the nhc's forecast so there are some watches and warnings in place but uh, they're not being reflected on the 7 a.m update but we do have a tropical storm warning that is in effect for the Huatineo to Cabo Corrientes in Mexico and a tropical storm watch that is in effect for Cabo Corrientes to San Blas so so guys we're not seeing those areas really being highlighted but those are the areas under a tropical storm warning and so we're seeing here that we're expecting Enrique to remain a hurricane at least through to Tuesday and then afterwards by the midweek we're expecting to weaken down to a tropical storm and so guys fortunately Enrique is offshore but it is still going to be bringing some hazardous conditions so in terms of the wind tropical storm like winds are possible in areas near the southwestern coastline of mexico and in terms of the rainfall 6 to 12 inches with amounts of 18 inches over Colima and coastal sections of michoacan and jalisco in southwestern mexico those areas can expect some heavy rainfall and, and that is likely to result in some flash flooding and potentially mudslides over portions of southwestern mexico and then in terms of the surf swells that are generated by Enrique will affect the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next few days. And these swells are likely to cause life threatening surf and rip current conditions. So guys, if you're along the southwestern coastline, please take necessary precautions and stay safe. Do not go to the beach. And, and if flooding should occur, ensure that you are in a flood prone area and do not attempt to cross flooded roadways, guys. So please take necessary precautions and stay safe. But by Thursday, Early on Thursday, we're expecting that Enrique is going to be a depression just off the Baja California Peninsula tip right there. So this system here is likely to be a depression. But even though it is going to be weakening a lot, it could still bring those hazardous conditions to portions of the Baja California Peninsula, guys. And so if you're there, you want to be on alert. And so guys, now let's go over into the North Atlantic and let us talk about that tropical wave. And so guys, as you're seeing here, the chance has decreased again down to 10%. And so the system is located to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and is expected to be moving westward. And so any development of the system is going to be slow to happen because the system is only in marginally conductive conditions to aid in its intensification. And some unfavorable conditions are kind of ahead of it, guys. So it really is going to be having a battle to develop into a tropical cyclone but regardless we cannot ignore it because there is the chance that it could still be a threat to land and so let us go ahead and take a look at the ocean temperature map and so we're seeing here that going more from the central to the western section eventually to the caribbean that is the warmest area right now in terms of the main development region especially in the western caribbean and so let's look at the wind shear map and so we have the different colors here indicating different intensities of the wind shear and so we have the greens meaning favorable the yellows meaning neutral and the reds meaning unfavorable so we see a bit of greens around but we're mainly seeing the reds which means that unfavorable shear is kind of dominant right now and generally in late june or july we don't have a lot of systems really developing but as we approach august september october in that peak time that is when we're going to be seeing things being very very favorable and we can see multiple systems being out there being simultaneously active guys so this thing here could not develop but it still has a chance so let's look at what our models are showing in terms of what is expected and so here is our model intensity guidance and we have quite a few available and about half of the number agree that it will achieve tropical storm status and i do not think that this is impossible with this system here guys so 
I wouldn't expect a tropical storm right now, but I would say that it is possible to take place. And so let's go on to what the Euro and the GFS are expecting. So first up, let's take a look at the GFS. And so this is a map showing the isobars, which are lines of equal pressure. And the closer you see them in a circular manner, with the pressure being below 1030 millibars, especially in the main development region, that is usually a tropical cyclone. And so this is Sunday, the 27th of June. So tomorrow, and there we have GFS showing that low pressure system and so let's go further out to tuesday the 29th of june and there we have the system to the east of the windward islands and so going to thursday the 1st of july we're seeing here that gfs is definitely not expecting this to develop however moisture is going to be over most of the eastern caribbean so heavy rainfall could be as a result of this wave here if it does not dissipates in the hostile environment that it is going to be in so let's go on to euro and so euro is showing here that we're going to be having that low pressure system kind of coming together maybe trying to develop this is by thursday the first near the end of next week and so let's go further out so we see euro showing it to the east southeast of the windward islands and by saturday the 3rd of july there we have it crossing over into the southeastern caribbean being in the vicinity of the abc islands and so let us go further out to sunday the 4th of july we see the system being south of jamaica much weaker and so euro is expecting somewhat of development of the system maybe a tropical depression or a very weak and small tropical storm but we have the euro here trending towards potential development of the system guys and so looking at the satellite view of it we're seeing it being quite disorganized so we have disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity taking place and so as i said it is really going to be having a battle as it is going to be making its way westward and so it we really have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be for it guys but as of right now if you are in the caribbean the time you could look for this being a potential threat is sometime maybe late next week or by the middle part of next week guys because it's moving relatively quickly about 15 to 20 miles per hour so it is likely to be a threat if it survives the host environment and is still making its way westward maybe sometime late next week guys and so of course i will keep you updated and so guys just to recap we have what is now hurricane enrique expected to become a high-end category two hurricane uh almost going to be making it to a cat three as you have watches and warnings that are in place for portions of southwestern mexico hazardous conditions such as the strong winds the very heavy rain and the the swells are going to be there and then over in the atlantic basin we have our invest 95l which has the potential but a lower one to develop into a tropical cyclone and the lesser antilles could be affected by the system next week and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask questions i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be wise and of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by